Okay, so the reason we do these workshops is to help you with your teaching. Uh, we have the Consonus Music Program, which is blended learning, which I'm really sold on. I, I think it's working great. But whether you decide to adopt that or not, hopefully you'll still pick up things that will help your teaching. Regardless of the book you're using, regardless of the approach you're playing, hopefully we'll make you better teachers. At least make you think about it a little bit more, and you'll be able to incorporate a lot of the stuff we're going to be talking about into, into some of your teaching. Blended learning, that's a term, I, I don't know our educators all familiar with what blended learning is, but what we've done is we have material that's available online that the students can access at home and we'll be talking a lot more about later on, but just to give you kind of a rough overview of it. Uh, it's the students can access at home everything that's in the books. They are, they'll be able to see instruction videos on there which really don't replace the teacher, they just reinforce the teacher. To give you an example of that, when I have clinicians come into USU, I've brought some of the finest guitar players in the world into USU. When they've done their workshops and their classes, very rarely do they show them something I don't know and I haven't talked about. But when I do it, I've got another witness. You know, then they believe it. You know, we'll bring Tommy Emmanuel in or somebody, a fingerstyle player in, and they'll say, you know, They'll talk about balance. You got you got to bring that melody out on the top. Or, bringing the melody out on top. Well, I've told them that, but when the clinician says that in, in the clinic, then they all go, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I've got to bring that melody out on the top. <laughs> you know, and very often they're smart enough to say, you know, Mike's told us about that a whole bunch of times, too. Maybe that's, maybe we ought to do that. Yeah. And <clears throat> you will be the same with the blended learning. You'll, you'll tell the kids something in class and uh, they'll watch it on the video prior to the class or that night or whatever. Yeah. So blended learning can be very reinforcing that way. Also, we have a ton of uh, guitar pedagogy teacher training videos available at the same place. So if you want to teach the students or if you have a student break a, a string and you want to put the string on, you're not sure how to do that. We've got videos that'll walk you right through it that'll show you how to do it. Uh, if you want to know how to tune the class, we're going to be talking about it a little bit, but if you forget some of that, there's some instruction on there of, of how to do it. You get a student that has a hard time playing an F chord and you can't figure out why, we'll talk about why on the video. We'll talk about it here, but you can also access the video and you see that. So there's a lot of guitar pedagogy for the teachers. There's videos online that are available for the teachers and some that are available for the students and some that are available for both, okay?